in this video i am going to talk about uh, what are uh, dummy variables and uh, how to use dummy variable in regression models well uh, dummy variables have, are useful when we deal with qualitative uh, variables um, in in um, regression models so the qualitative variables could be a uh, gender could be designation uh, of an employee uh, marital status of a customer so uh, these are uh, not actually quantitative variables that means we cannot assign uh, quantitative numbers to this uh, you know variables right so uh, and these variables are also important predictors in uh, predictive models so one of the example that can uh, i can provide you is uh, let's say uh, we have got a model like this uh, salary of an employee uh, and uh, in the independent variables are the experience of an employee and uh, his gender uh, experience is of course a quantitative variable it's a quantitative variable whereas gender is a qualitative variable right so gender uh, it, it is male uh, or female right so we want to know that how being a male or being a female uh, affect somebody's salary right uh, so the purpose of having uh, a categorical variable like gender in the model is to know at at same experience level how salary varies with gender right whether it's more and if it's more how much uh, how much more it is right so that's the objective of using uh, a dummy variable uh, in a regression model so how do we use it uh, how do we use it in a um, in the estimation well if we use male and female um, it's not a, it's not going to be a, uh, you know recognize this uh, uh, type of data right because the data is uh, is a character data right um, so we need to make it um, a numerical value we give it a numerical value so we uh, do some sort of a coding and we use a coding language so we define a dummy variable like this say you know uh, di okay uh, which which stands for the dummy for you know gender uh, or any other categorical variable so um, and if it is uh, if it's one if it is male so the candidate is male or the employee is male it's zero if the employee is female right so wherever we have male and female as gender we'll just replace with one and zero now the question is is it that all the time we'll have only two categories no we can have multiple categories more than two categories as well and we'll talk about how we can actually use a dummy variable in that case now the dummy in this case for us is di which takes one and zero based on if an employee is male or a female right so and it, it turns out that the model becomes um, say any um, any model will be uh, like yi which is the dependent variable is beta naught plus beta 1 uh, d where d is the dummy variable now d takes only 1 and 0 right so when it takes 0 and 0 gets multiplied to beta 1 so this is going to be 0 so in the case of female where it's it's zero this term will vanish right so only beta naught will be there right so in the case of male yi is nothing but beta naught plus beta one plus the error term right because d takes one so one multiplied to beta one is beta one so it's the summation of beta naught and beta zero beta one um, and and the error term for in the, in the case of female where beta one takes zero so this term gets uh, becomes zero we only have beta naught and the uh, error term right so that's how we represent uh, dummy variable or we use dummy variable in a model now if you take the difference of these two vari uh, dependent variables uh, for male and female um, you will see that the difference is nothing but the beta one right so the actual values it could be salary right it could be salary say for example salary is our uh, dependent variable so salary of male minus salary of female is nothing but the slope coefficient of the 
dummy variable right so that's how we interpret so salary of male minus salary of female is nothing but the slope the slope coefficient or the estimate of the dummy variable right so that's how we interpret the uh, estimate of a dummy variable now we can also use some alternative way of representing uh, a dummy variable in the mod right so in place of 0 and 1 we can actually use you know minus 1 and plus 1 right um, so if if uh, if the employee is male then we have got plus 1 and if his uh, if she is female then we use minus 1 right the dummy variable takes minus 1 right so the uh, you know the model takes this form beta uh, if it's if he is male then uh, y i is equal to beta not plus beta 1 plus the error term and we if she is female then it's beta not minus beta 1 plus the error term right um slightly it's slightly different representation from what we have seen in the earlier case although the first one is more popular uh, but this is also a, a good way of you know it the num uh, beta 1 is actually uh, getting half so you know it half of it is getting added and half uh, the rest half is actually um, uh, getting subtracted from the beta naught right so it's a different representation but the actual prediction remains same irrespective of what kind of coding you are using the actual prediction remains same so the final prediction is the same irrespective of the type of coding that uh, we use then we can have a more than one level of categories or more categories right so um, one of the examples that i can give you is salary uh, is dependent on the designation right and let's say we have got three designation associate analyst and manager um, so we try to uh, we, now in this case we'll try to relate how salary of uh, one particular designation is related to the other or, or in other words if somebody has a certain uh, designation uh, known designation can we or can somebody predict his salary right so that's the objective of uh, you know this particular type of uh, mod so in this case we are going to use two dummy right uh, two dummy variables let's say d1 and d2 now d1 is one it takes one if employee is a manager or he's not a manager right it could be analyst or associate the d2 is one if employee is an analyst and zero if uh, otherwise right if associate or manager let's try to understand this this is little more trickier now here it, it's that there are three categories so it takes one if it falls in a particular category that that could be manager and all other categories you know all other category come in the form of zero similarly uh, it takes one if it is his analyst or any other category it takes zero right mm -hmm. so we try to find out how somebody being a manager or being an analyst has a higher salary or more salary uh, or less salary than other categories right so how many categories we have we have got three categories so now question is why we use two dummy variable why not the third one well if you use this two dummy variable we need not use the third one because by using two uh, we'll be able to find uh, find the relationship with this between these three uh, you know um, categories we need not have to use the third one Although using third one is going to create more computational issues, that's a different thing. We're not going to get into it, but uh, we don't need to uh, need three variables. And I'll tell you how. So let's go uh, to a little more detail. Okay. Now, when, when we have this dummy, right, uh, D1 and D2. And um, so if he's a manager, D1 takes one. So his salary is beta naught plus beta one, right? Uh, if he's an analyst, his salary is beta naught plus beta 2. Uh, and he's associate. So we have not used any dummy for this, right? So if if, if um, somebody is associate, then both the dummies D1 is equal to 0 
and d2 is also equal to 0. That means both beta 1 and beta 2 gets multiplied to 0 and 0 respectively and you know in result, resulting in 0. So we only uh, we are left with only uh, this um, intercept which is beta naught. Right. So um, associate is considered as a base group or is a baseline and uh, you know salary of analyst and salary of manager is, is uh, compared with this particular uh, designation right so the difference between associate salary and analyst salary is nothing but beta 2 right because that's the additional term in this case right beta naught is there beta naught is also here so the difference is beta 2 now uh, the difference between manager salary and associate salary is beta 1 right because beta naught is here beta is also here in associate so the only difference is beta 1 now one may ask this question or you may be thinking that how do we find the difference between salary of manager and analyst well firstly you can actually compute it um, uh, you know once we have these three equations you can always compute this you know uh, see the difference of salary from manager and analyst but you can also use what is known as a contrast uh, um, and see how uh, the salaries are different between these two. So what you can do is that instead of using um, associate as the um, as the base group, we can instead use analyst as the base group and repeat the same uh, and do the estimation. Although there is simpler way of doing it using contrast, I will not get in the details of how you use contrast. And um, you know within the same regression, we we also find out the uh, relative. Uh, you know uh, the relation between these uh, categories but you can always change the base categories and uh, do the regression again to see or to do the comparison that's uh, easier and uh, very easy to understand so remember one thing that we always take uh, n minus 1 dummies where n n represents the number of categories uh, that we have right so we take only n minus one number of dummy variables um, to uh, model or to use dummy variables or categorical variables um, in regression model. 